Nice. Beautiful, dude. Oh, just getting ready for our hiding, my hiding up to Pornicke, to Wellington. So I'm going to go speak at a conference tomorrow, keynote speaker. And the cool part is, I'll show you a bit later, is that they're going to hook me up with the hotel and, and a gym membership and stuff. But also I get open menu for dinner. Anybody who's familiar with the Wellington Airport? Look at this far now, I'm heading off into my hotel now. Ho oh, ho! Look at that, the museum. Hmm. Maybe I have to go in there. Look at that, nice and shiny. There's my room, Fanu. Look at that. Now these are the tricky things, eh? Do not drink that. Because it's called the bar, the fridge bar or whatever. Huh? Oh, good TV. Hmm. To think. To think. That maybe I'll have a bed all to myself. This is crazy. Have a look at this pillow menu. There's a menu even for your pillows. We understand everyone has their own personal pillow preference. If you prefer a different type of pillow than is on your head, please refer to our menu overlay to make your request. Please find the section on extension zero. Have a look here. Lavender pillows. On request, your choice of pillow can be scented with lavender to help relax and soothe the senses to sleep. <laughs> what the? Pillow one, you can have a soft, firm, soft, slim pillow. A soft, slim pillow offering a slight incline. Pillow two, give a back down pillow. <laughs> look at that. Pillow three, a pillow two, firm pillow. An extremely supportive firm pillow. Pillow four, a European pillow. A large square pillow offering excellent back support for reading in bed. Oh, if this isn't satisfying, I don't know what is. Even the pillows have a menu. <laughs> And it comes with three sides, tonight we have green beans, Caesar salad, and pomme de vie. And let's have a look. Thank you very much. I never want to have sushi with the pork belly, they're right next to each other as well. Oh, yeah. So no oysters? Oh, I would love to have those. Here we go, but there's always beautiful food everywhere. Melissa McCarthy, Melissa McCarthy. Um, you come with a crayfish tortellini in the middle, pumpkin puree, and um, pork skin crumble, and bouillabaisse. Thank you. I got the pork belly for me. And you got the phone. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine, eh? This is just what I'm going to have for dinner. Nah. <laughs> I want a video, yeah, yeah. Freshly cut. Oh, amazing. That looks good. Do you want a little bit of more meat? You probably got some of this cheese. Beautiful. Oh, no, look at that. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if that makes his cut as much as the edge of the cheese. It's good. I can eat the, uh, the sugar melting. It yeah. will become a caramel, a very strong caramel. But we are running out of time. <laughs> so, a little bit of lemon. To accelerate the processes. And somebody named it a Suzette. Yeah, who is Suzette? Huh? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know, like there's a like there's a lazy Susan somewhere somewhere too. Eh? Well, Chikurofano. So I just finished an amazing dinner uh, with. Uh, uh, conference organizers and stuff like that and really feel like a king and a three course really flash as meal um, and now I'm just in the room now this is me how uh, how much of a scab I really am I'm gonna shoot to the gym because they've uh, they've given me the gym membership thing it closes at 11 it's about 10 p.m. now usually if I'm out these ways I'll probably go for a wonder a wonder and um, go head up a karaoke bar or something like that and then try to get back by midnight and try to have a bit of a sleep in but I want to use the gym because I pay for it just do something tonight just see how it is and then um, probably use it in the morning too and work something yeah. well kia ora whanau thought I'd try and go for a bit of a run in Windy Wellington have a look at that oh. just did about a 10 minute run outside um, to Papa Museum it was fun. Hopotahu, naked, 
a pretty cool going for a run down here in Wellington because it constantly has air conditioning. Look at this one, they're continental. I want to smash a nutrient. So, DB was saying, uh, Karina, that he visited a, or had breakfast with a friend uh, who was a client. Yeah. Look at this one, eh? Oosh. This is a hot food. A little bit different than the marae. Just inside the Papa Museum. <laughs> Bit of a scab and all of that type of stuff. It's pretty amazing. Just before I'm about to go and do my my speech. Beautiful quote. He taonga no te whenua, me hoki anō ki te whenua. What is given by the land should return to the land. One of the most well-known Māori proverbs, spoken by leaders, politicians of all different cultures, races, all here in New Zealand. Ka hata ngā miro tētei ao, mā kue ki atu, he tamata, he tamata, he tamata. Which loosely translates as, what is the most important thing in this world? I would say, fourthly, it is people that think, that turn, it is people, your extended family, it is people, your collective. The people don't realise that is actually a beginning half to that problem. And today, you guys have had all the facts, all the data, you know, and in these workshops, everything is going to be proven through the workshop. I'm not going to give you no facts, no data. This is going to be a confrontation, a story about common sense. Right? If you need to find the data for it, then go on Google. You should be able to find it. I'm here to tell you a story about people. People, people. So first, it's only right to thank, uh, thank the people who have, who have put today on. To my ex-boss, to Darren, for calling me up today. You never know who the people are that are standing right in front of you. How amazing they truly are, whether they're MC, CEOs, or fathers to their children. The person that I truly admire is Darren, also for the HSI team, just normal people walking in the street. To acknowledge him for organizing this day. And even more importantly, yeah, I can't say that, sorry, HSI partner, but to you. To you for coming here today to look after the most important person, yourself, to develop your capability that you can make yourself even better than you were yesterday. Because how can you ever think of helping others if you don't even help yourself? So thank you very much for making this time. Right, so here we are finally. Finish my day, amazing. And now I'm just getting ready to get picked up by Uncle Chop. So the next exciting episode of my trip to Port Nicky. Uh, staying over with Uncle Chop and that. And then gonna be driving Nan all the way home to Auckland. Man, I'm gonna be pretty lucky to be able to hear all the conversations of that. Okay, so let's see where I will get picked up from. Anyway, Fano, it was an amazing day today. I was able to speak again and really open their minds up, open our people's minds up on how they can truly grab the strengths of our people, of our indigenous people at the front line, at the grassroots, use their strengths as a competitive advantage for their business. So I did a little bit of recording there, hopefully to will chop a bit of a later here for you. Um, and yes, Fano. There we go, so we've got, what, three Whakatauki. <laughs> from um, Tūtus Koro. What were they? Okay, the first one was never beat around the bush because you'll get sore feet. Common sense. The second one uh, was 
don't blow your own trumpet if you've got stink breath. Mm -hmm. And the third one was, ah, uh, Jesus, what was the third one? Oh, it's stink breath. Yeah, don't beat around the bush, never blow your own kumara, trumpet. Kumara. Oh, yeah, kumara. The, uh, the reason the kumara doesn't speak about itself is because it's a vegetable. Life lessons. Pretty simple. Yeah, have a look here. I know this is this is Mr. Pahu. Bruce. Bruce Frank. I think he's got a couple of uh, mixed personalities, split personalities. Tomorrow he'll probably be John. Hey Bruce. Oh what such a well behaved cat. Look at that. John. We'll just find it here, we're all getting ready for breakfast. Look at and the brother over there, he's, uh, he was up to about midnight playing the game. <laughs> Celebrating every night since his exam over. We're here in Waikanae. The only part that there's a bit of traffic. Here we go. So it looks some beautiful sky. And kohu, the mist. We're here with our special guest today. Well, I'm the guest in her waka. This is Nan. We're going to be having some amazing kōrero because we don't really listen to music. <laughs> so Kia ora just before we head off to Auckland. <laughs> Boom! We've got John, we've got Bruce, Jake at the back there, and Grace. I know we've got a Grace in our family, yeah. <laughs> We're just going to have some breakfast here Georgia. before we drop up. Oh, Georgia. Yeah. You guys <laughs> might know him from, from follow, our fellow movies like uh, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. Yes, he's John. John Claude Van Damme. What is that, bro? French. Oh. <laughs> Banana, eggs, Benedict. And, uh, yeah, casual fish and chip. For breakfast. Uh, mushroom. Oh. Mushroom for the mushroom. Thank you. <laughs> Yo. Just recording this to say haha to <clears throat> This is called Family Hijack. So Kia ora whanau, we just finished breakfast here with uh, Tōtu Fano, Uncle Chop, and all of them, our whanau. And now look at this, and this little red pony. That's what we call this, ain't it? The little red pony. <laughs> Compared to our black stallion. <laughs> and we're getting ready to go on our eight hour, or well, seven and a half, depending, give or take. I'll probably drive really slow. Journey with Nan. Hi everybody. Morena. Morena, Morena, Morena. How lucky am I? the ice cream place just after Tai Hope. Right, so about two minutes outside from Tai Hope if I know it kinda looks like this. Don't and wanna you, stand up. But. And you get a you get a coconut ice cream. Yeah you kinda get a coconut size ice cream. And this is only what three two dollars, three dollars, but a triple scoop three fifty. But let's be honest people, you don't need a triple scoop. You don't need a triple scoop. Right? 
Mm. And Nan, Nan had a triple scoop. She's just eating it faster. <laughs> Look at that finally. Beautiful. Is that Mount Ruapehu? So through all of um, St. Nan was just telling me that through all of Tawza's um, grandmother and our great grandmother and great great grandmother's mothers, they all link, they've all got land here. So two for the toy. So we're about to see they actually link to. Because you said they had shares in. They have shares in Rotaida. Rotaida. They have shares from land from Hastings to here. To Whiritua. Kahanudu. Yeah. So. And on the Tehuya side, they also have interest here. Yeah. To Whiritua. But not as strong as. Oh, so this is from yeah. her This is only from her grandfather. Oh, yeah. Jack's mother's side. Oh, yeah. So she's two foot in tour as well? She's two foot in tour as well. Oh, man, I think the further we go up, she's going to soon be from Boido or Ti, by the sound of it. <laughs> this is an awesome uh, trip, finally. This is the first uh, roadworks that we've had. And we stopped for a whole lot of 20 seconds. some good time heading to Auckland it's about 3 a.m. and we're just in Te Awamatu so just uh, stopping to pick up Nan's blankets which she left behind um, and heading back to Auckland I'm just going to have about a 30 minute power nap uh, while she's talking to her whanau here so yep that's going to be me I'm going to put my alarm on for 45 minutes okay <laughs> Māori's being Māori's <laughs> they got me out of the car just a couple of days sleep in the room <sighs> so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to enjoy their hospitality have a good nap get myself refreshed so I can get me and Nan home safely cool. and that one there Puku. is Kakepuku this is Tortoise Marae yeah oh maunga aroha mai they're pepeha yeah, yeah. Pero pirongi is in there pepeha though eh? it is is there an awa or something no uh, the awa is Tepunia, yeah, Tepunia. That's the one where, you, where they've got the roadworks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, because Tords wants to come in and, and have a bit of a climb of this moonga. You can climb up. Yeah. So to a certain point, I think. Well, oh, that's it. Uh, that looks a bit crazy. Better start doing more hey, training so far. That's your burger? That's yes, it's got to be the bigger one. That feels like it. Cat's out of the bag. Long time but since I've had a Burger King and just on our way the home streets from Wellington and uh, I've got me a double whopper with a heavy man and heavy barbecue sauce but that's all I got just the biggest burger there so we're just gonna stop and have a little bit of a munch before I drive home so we can have some dinner ah. hey Fado so we've reached home we actually done really good time including our nap and stuff like that but Nan's just gonna hopefully you got some energy to drive for me to tell it to <laughs> and it cost us roughly about $71 worth of petrol. $71 That's here so from crazy. Wellington to Auckland. So people, I would say, before getting a black stallion, get a little red pony. Little red pony. We made it home safely, Farnoot. Thanks, yeah. Nan, for the awesome time. Okay. Kia ora, Like, share or subscribe so you can join us on our fun journey with... Mucking around with the muckers. Boo-ha!